My name is Michael Hermiston. I'm going to demonstrate screencasting using Adobe Captivate to capture performing some tasks in Mahara, a web-based ePortfolio authoring tool. Adobe Captivate is pre-configured to capture video in a variety of formats. The next few slides will demonstrate some of those settings. To record a software simulation, choose the first topic on the right. After pressing the software simulation button, you will then be taken to this screen where you can choose various options. In this case, I have chosen the application, which is Windows Explorer in this case, and full motion video. Similarly, this screen shows the setup for an automatic capture, which captures all of the mouse clicks and keystrokes and this screen shows the setup for a manual capture which also captures keystrokes and mouse movements but fewer slides than in a full motion video. After you've completed your profile information this is the view that you will see every time you log in. I have already created a view which is called MDDE610. You'll see that down in the bottom left hand corner. In order to create a view you click on the create view or copy a view. In this case what we'll do is we will click on MDDE 610 and see what I have created. So in my portfolio I've got profile information on the left with a picture, a blog in the middle and files to download on the right. If we click down to the bottom we'll see uh, more blog entries. Now, unfortunately, the blog posts in most recent at the top uh, rather than the other way around, which is the way I would prefer it. However, uh, I'll demonstrate putting a blog entry in. So you'll notice that I clicked on my blog and then we go to new post. It's going to prompt us for a title. Website is slow today. And now I have already created a text because my typing is so bad and I'm going to cut and paste it into the text box. At the bottom we have some options. Now for demonstration purposes I will click the draft box. If you do that it will not publish it to the blog but in fact what it will do is it will be here in the blog entry but it will be listed as a draft and will have a publish button beside it. You'll notice that the rest of the one entries below that are all published so we will click on publish and then go back to my portfolio, views, and the view that we're working on, and there is the entry that we have just, just inserted. To add an artifact, we click back on the My Portfolio view, and in the view that we want to modify, we will click on the Edit Content and Layout. This is how I got the wider column in the middle. So there are multiple artifacts in here so we're now on the blog entry so we can just click a blog down our blog portion down and create that view. However what I'll demonstrate is inserting a file to download. So the file to download icon is right in the middle. We click on it. I've just done a left click and I'm going to drag it down onto my screen. And you follow the mouse down and left click and it inserts the, the file at that point. The default text is files to download which I will leave. It's going to ask us for confirmation that we have copyright 
authorization on this and what I'll do is demonstrate by choosing a file that I have already uploaded to save a little time and I will select the assignment and once that is done I will save it and then we can see that the file is now here in the file list so other things that we can do here back to this view is we can control who has access to the information so I'm going to go to the MDDE 610 view and edit access now in this case I have already created access for any logged in users so that's what we've got here in the middle and I will add a list to my connections now I don't have many connections but I will add that in and that creates a box over here the start date does need to be completed and if we click on the calendar here it will pull us up and then we just pick some date in the future to choose so we'll just go say August 31st just arbitrarily and then we need to go down to the bottom and save it and that will save that setting so that uh, now my connections can log into that so in order to see who, who my connections are we go to groups my connections and it turns out I've only got one who is Donna Johnson so Donna will now be able to log into this and I think she'll get a notification email telling her that I'm just granted her access.